Hey, I'm Mike. And I'm Tony. Welcome to Jeep Nation. And this is the Orvis Edition. This week, we're in Cumming, Georgia, on the south side of Metro Atlanta's popular Lake Lanier. We'll be working on a build for an avid fly fisherman who's one of Orvis's friends in the field. Owner John Hammond and the crew at Liberated 4x4 are going to help us Orvis size his Jeep. I am really excited about this Jeep build. You know, having a Jeep that has an Orvis theme to it is right up my alley. Fly fishing has been one of my favorite things in the total world since I was a kid. And growing up in LA, that's lower Alabama. I just had the basics, and I got a feeling these guys in Jeep Nation are gonna hook me up. Yeah, we've got some good inspirational ideas so far, but we're gonna head down to the Orvis store and see if we can get a little bit more. Yep. I mean, I love to fly fish, and if we can incorporate anything into this build that has to do with fly fishing, it'd be great. I think we can do that. You know, I think it's gonna be a great idea to head down to the Orvis store. I agree. They've, uh, they've got some awesome clothing that I've admired ever since I was a kid, plus all the gear and the fly fishing gear too. It's super cool. Have you ever even been fly fishing? No, I haven't. But one day I will. All right. <laughs> oh, and you know what else they have down there? What? A Fezziwig challenge for you. Ah! So the whole Fezziwig challenge thing started back in high school. My buddies Cliff Prince, Tom, and I used to challenge each other all the time. Goofy manhood challenges. You know what you do when you're 17, stuff like that. And now, this many years later after high school, Mike and I still do these challenges to each other. And I just got another one. That boy's gonna do a bad fashion show. Hey, so we got a phone call from Shane, one of Orvis's friends in the field, and he asked us to do some custom work on his 2014 Polar Edition Jeep. He didn't give us a whole lot to go on, but he did suggest we come on down here to Orvis to check out some things for some inspiration. Yeah, so we rolled out of the Jeep Nation headquarters, decided to come to their flagship store, uh, nestled in the upscale, trendy part of town called Buckhead. Let's check it out. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Orvis. Good, great. Hey Bob, I'm Mike. This hey, is Mike. Tony. Hey Tony, how are you? Good. We're part of Jeep Nation and uh, one of your Orvis's friends in the field, Shane Durantz, we yeah. had to do some custom work on his Jeep and he sent us in here to get some uh, little inspiration, kind of like an inspiration fact-finding mission. All right, cool. So, great. By the looks of it, pretty sure we can find some good stuff okay. in here. Okay, great. I'll let you guys look around. If you have any questions, need any help, just let me know. Thanks. All right. Tennis, anyone? Wizard. Definitely. How'd it go, guys? It went perfect. There's a bunch of great stuff in the store, and we've got a lot of great ideas nice. of what All we're right. gonna do to Shane's Jeep. So cool. We're gonna head back to the shop and uh, get started on it. All right. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Awesome. Anything else you need, please let us know. Good. Thanks, All right. Bob. Have a great day. You too. After talking to Hank from Rugged Ridge about Shane's Jeep project, he invited us up to the warehouse to check it out and then also their Jeep collection. And if you want to see it for yourself, go to jeepcollection.com. You've been to Rugged Ridge before and you told me all about it. The thing that I couldn't believe was how many vintage Jeeps they had in that museum. Oh, and they have more in the warehouse. It's crazy. The other thing that blew me away was Hank walking us through there. They've got lights, they've got Jeep tubs, they've got the suspension. I mean, yeah. dude, they've got like every possible thing that you need for building a complete Jeep. It's yeah. crazy. And what blew me away, I mean, the warehouse was so huge, it reminded me of Indiana Jones, you know, the last scene. The right, re wheeling, right. Wheeling in the Ark. You know, yeah. it just kept going on and exactly. on. Exactly. But uh, I know the real reason you wanted to go back. Why? You know. <laughs> When we started working with Liberated 4x4, they had recently opened their new shop. So before we got started on Shane's Orvis Jeep build, 
it was time for a little party at the shop to celebrate their opening. After meeting with Shane, we quickly got to work on bringing in parts for his build. The first thing to arrive was a set of 35s for Pitbull tires. Another visit to our friends at Rugged Ridge to pick up parts for the build. With all the parts at the shop and one bad fashion show Mike made me do, it's finally time to get started. After visiting the Orvis store in Buckhead and kicking around all the possibilities, we knew exactly what we wanted. So now it's time for Tony to go visit our good friend Tim at Tim's Upholstery in Duluth to present the crazy idea we came up with. Of course, Tim thought Tony was a little nuts, but he also said, as usual, he could deliver. And now the build begins. We start with Jesse Spade designed rugged ridge wheels with 35 inch pit bull tires. Sitting under Shane's Freedom Top sits the American flag sunscreen from Rugged Ridge. It's perfect for providing a little shade on those sunny days when you still want to roll topless. Tony and I wanted to do something special for Shane's dog, Riffer. We talked to our friends at Little Passenger Seats and decided on the interior matching bench seat. So cool. Put her in. Can we get the paper out? Oh man, almost closed my hand on that. And that? Looking for a place to set this freak so down. It's a ride on a Harley to a backstage party. It's about to get around at night. So jump at that awkward moment, you realize you put the rack on upside down. It's about to begin. Time is now. Not a joke. Once we uh, <clears throat> got the rack on right, we topped it off with several three inch Rugged Ridge LED cubes and a 50 inch LED bar from our friend Dustin over at AVW Off-Road. All right, so the guys already got the four inch lift on. They've got the 35 inch Pitbull tires, some fantastic looking Jesse Spade wheels from Rugged Ridge, and of course the Gobi roof rack. The thing that I really love about the addition to this is a little surprise we did for Shane's dog. Our friends out at Little Passenger Seats in California hooked us up with a great third row bench seat. What I love is the attention to detail on this thing. The materials match everything about the inside of this 2014 Polar Edition Jeep. The stitching, the leather, everything is awesome. I'm excited to have them take a look at it. We decided on the cool look of the color matched Spartacus package from Rugged Ridge, including front and rear bumpers, grill insert, and hood as well as the Rugged Ridge 8,500 pound winch with synthetic cable. Hey, what's going on? What's up, bud? Good to see you, Tony. Good to see you. How you doing? What's happening? Mike. I like your hat. That's good stuff right there. Yeah, definitely. Nice. What do we got? Well, this is Mike's creation so far. Dude. Show him what you got, Mike. This is fantastic. Oh. I'm trying to use every piece that I can. Sure. From it and everything, so. The zipper that was actually on the inside flap. Right. It's gonna be a little stash pocket for you for ID, fishing license love it be able to flex out keep that down in there that's great branding on there i love that this is uh, it's brilliant love it it's a challenge you're doing great work i've, I've never just made seats turn him loose before. on it <laughs> fly be free go do your thing man uh, yeah i love it the crazy idea in my mind you totally delivered it i'm sitting here thinking okay seriously tim's probably gonna think i'm nuts but what i had in my head and what you've turned this into, you, you guys absolutely nailed it. You do, really. It's, it's actually, it's kind of fun to stretch your imagination on, on a job like this because this is so out of the box for <laughs> anything that we do. With the guys at the shop putting the finishing touches on Shane's Jeep, we decided to take a night off to hang out with our good friend Benton Blunt. Shane hasn't seen his Jeep in a while, so this is gonna be fun. Oh. 
that did not go as planned. You can clearly see that did not go as planned. <laughs> Man, this thing is nice. Shane's been without his Jeep for quite some time, so this is gonna be fun. Honestly, I'm just hoping he takes his fly fishing after this. Oh, yeah. I've been watching a river run through it, and I'm still not, not good. No, <laughs> that didn't help me either. <laughs> oh, I should call him and let him know we're almost there. Hey buddy, we're uh, probably about two or three minutes away from the store. Okay. So we'll see you there in just a minute. Alright. Alright, see you bud. Yes. I'm sure he's excited about this. I'm excited to see the look on his face. Hey, do we really have to give it to him? <laughs> Sorry Shane, we're on a road trip. Next stop, Dallas, Texas baby. What's up, buddy? Hey, guys. All right, Shane, the guys from Liberated 4x4 got your Jeep build finished. And the guys over at Tim's Upholstery got that special project done for you. Yeah, but before we take a look at the interior, we're gonna walk you around the exterior. I can't wait to see it. Guys, I knew this thing was going to look great, but I had no idea it was going to turn out like this. Job well done. I believe this is yours. And I'm headed to the river. Job well done. Hey, um, how are we getting home? Hey, thanks for watching this edition of Jeep Nation. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. To do that, go ahead and click on the button up top. If you want to watch another video, go ahead and click the button underneath it. And if you want to check out some of the cool merch you see Mike and I wearing in the episodes, go ahead and check out JeepNationTV.com.